Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. We're back today with the Timu mold. It's a big giant angelfish and he's pretty good size. I have fat hands, well not fat hands, big hands, but yeah, he's a nice size mold. Wish I'd have brought two. But like I said today, like I said in the last video, today we're going to be using one of these, maybe both of them together. So, let's get started. I think I'm going to use some UV resin for his eyes. We'll put him some eyeballs in here with the sequence. Um, let me see here. I'm going to start that first. Where is my cup? Okay. Got uh, these little medicine cups that you get from Amazon are awesome for your UV resin. I'm gonna just put a little drop in here for now because I am only going to do his eyes for the moment. Just his eyeballs. and pick up real easy with these i'm gonna place him in there i really like these sequins i brought from the dollar tree for these eyeballs now i'm gonna put a little bit on top of it just a wee bit let me get him centered in here oh does he no he is not centered i'm sorry you can't see that very hard to see Okay, now he is centered. Let me get him under this UV light before. Oh, it moves. Do not want him moving. And it should, should cure from inside and out. Hopefully that's not hitting my drop of resin there. All right, let me see if he's, oh, maybe a little bit longer there. Yeah, a wee bit longer. He was still a little soft to the touch. Okay, that should be good, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna get the next eyeball on him little dot oops I should have put gloves on little dot of the UV in his eyeball there just to hold it in place and then put his eyeball in here come on get off the thing uh, make sure it's centered we don't want a wobbly fish eye here all right, awesome, okay. Put another little drop on top just to keep it in place here. Okay, then I will get you under the UV light. I was thinking about UV in his fins because mainly he's gonna be opaque fish with the glitter circles I'm calling it glitter circles on the inside because it's literally glitter circles okay hopefully he don't move I want to get the underbelly of him I just want to keep him in place wow oh he's not perfectly placed but he is I don't think I can move it now he's not perfectly placed Oh, no. He's going to have to do. Oh, shoot. He's in there, but he just got a little speck from around him. Hopefully he's not a wonky-eyed fish. Oh, I done plucked it off. Okay, you know what? We'll start again. Oh, hopefully I have not cured my resin. Nope. Okay, this time I'm going to put a little bit more on the inside here. I only put a 
basically a little drop in here. I didn't want to use too much. Okay, there we go. Put just a little bit more. I gotta be careful not to loosen up the other the um other eye. Okay, now let's try to center you again. I mean look from okay now that's yeah, that's spot on right there. Well if I move okay, you know what? Let me get you up under here before you move on me. That's spot on. I really want to UV his fins with some glitter. I might be able to. I'm going to try because I think it will stand out a little bit more if I did that. I should have really got my UV flashlight to do this. Alright, give me a little a nice blob on here and put a little bit on top here just so he doesn't move around, hopefully. One simple fish make be the longest video ever. And it depends on what you do. Okay, well, we have the eyes on. This is a beautiful mold. I thought it might, it might have been smaller. That's all we brought one. But usually stuff like this, I, I would love to buy two. That way I would have been doing two today. One blue, one green. Okay. Hmm two or not to do the UV resin it see I would like to get the UV resin in just regular fine glitter in his fin tail his torso fin thing or whatever a flipper in his front fin that's what I would like to do but am I gonna be able to I think this one would be the hardest one to get into. That's the problem. But you know what? I'm gonna try it. Oh, let me not lay him down. Let me just sit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. This. This one right here is a color changing glitter. It's well, not color changing, but different colors. Okay, I don't want too much, but I do want enough because that's a. I'm actually just going to paint it on or spread it around. It doesn't have to be a solid. And this is the Let's Resin High Velocity, so it shouldn't move much. It's a thicker resin. So it should not move much. I'm hoping. Get you stirred up here. Yeah, I'm going to need some more resin in here because I it doesn't have to be perfect I just want a little extra something something on its fins all right a little extra something something I'm trying to think how I should put this on should I use a paintbrush oh I have thousands of paint brushes maybe I should um okay I need oh there go one I think I will I mean yeah I think I will okay you know what I'm gonna try to just yeah I'm probably gonna have to make some more I'm gonna try to scoop him down oops in just the thin area and then I can spread it like I said, I don't, I'm not planning on just filling the whole cavity with this, just the outside. Just for some extra sparkle. Okay. Just paint this down in here best I can. I don't even know if this is going to work. But if all else fails, he'll have a little sparkle in his fin, a little extra sparkle. And I'm just working that just only on the fin here. It's not going to be perfect, 
but at least I can see through it. Oops. I mean, nothing's perfect. Okay, it might be a little blobby. But, like I said, just going to paint a little bit of... Oh yeah, and it's staying in place really, really well. Seems like to me it is, anyway. It's staying in place really well, but like I said, this is the high velocity, so it's kind of thick. Okay, how much? Okay, I still... And the thin goes up a little bit here, yeah. Like I said, I just want to paint a little bit of sparkle on him. I'm not trying to get it perfectly solid. It's just going to be a little different effect that shows up on him. Okay, so I want to get it on the thin right there. Yeah. And there it goes up a little bit on his back. Yeah. Alrighty. I think that's pretty good for his thin. Yeah, I'll just smooth it out a little bit here. Let me see. Did I get that real good? may not have yeah I don't think I did hold on it because it comes up his back too well not his back but going toward his tail okay at least you can see through the mold okay I'm gonna throw this up under this UV lamp real quick just to oh, set this in place hopefully it's very thin so it should set in place very thin just want to grab a little sparkle in there because I don't think I'm going to add any of that to the the um, other resin I think I'm going to just use the circles so having this in there will help do I see a little okay wait a minute. I see a little bald spot there on his fin let me now I don't see it oh there it is All right, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Don't know how this is going to turn out painting it on like this, but I think it'll be all right. Try to get down in the middle there, but it's kind of hard. But I will try. He's lighting up. I will try. Oh. Let me not press on the eyeballs before they fall off. Because they will come loose from the mold. Why do I feel like this eyeball is done moved? I could have It did. I done moved it. Maybe I should have waited till the end for the eyeballs. Let me touch this. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so now I'm just going to try to get this in his tail fin here. Yeah, I should. I might have to redo the eyeballs. I did not want that there, but it went there anyway. I was trying to get it down in here in his little other back fin here. Yeah, like I said, just a little bit. I am going to have to make some more though because yeah it's not enough at least I can see through the mold to kind of see what I'm doing and like I said it doesn't have to be perfect I just want a little extra shimmer on his on his um fins just a little different effect from what I'm going to get from the um from the um, circles. Okay, now I can paint you on here. And like I said, I'm not going to add any of this glitter to the mold itself. Just on the fins. I'm pretty sure it's going to give it a little extra sparkle. Okay, I'm going to get this. I think it goes up through there. Yeah. There we go. I'm just painting on a little glitter and UV resin. Let me move this out of the way. 
go on and see if I can get him cured a little bit there. And like I said, I think I'm going to have to redo at least one eyeball. And if it is, it's very simple to put on. I should have saved that for last. Seeing that I'm going to be moving the mold around and everything else. Did it set yet? Yeah, it did. Had a little ball spot there. I still need some more right there because it's a little spot that didn't have any resin in it. Okay. And it it's picking up like blues and greens and the glitter. I see a little spot of red glitter in there as well. But that's fine. Make sure he's nice and cured a little bit there. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Okay, what's left to do? His little side thin and his little thin right there is the only thing left to um, do. And then we can pour the resin, which I have not mixed up yet. Okay, I guess I'll, yeah, let me go on and finish this off, and then I'll, well, I, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to have to make some more. Yeah, go have to make a wee bit more here. And like I said, this is the high velocity resin, UV resin, and it's, it's thick, so it stays in place for you. Oh, that side's wet, let me not use that. That may be too much. Guess we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, it is. Let me put just a tad bit more in here. Okay, just a tad. I got four fins left. Actually, I'm probably going to need a little bit more than this. But for right now, we're going to use this. I can always quickly make some more all right so take my time and get it right here in this little thin area on the side the side fins try to take my time and stay in the line just paint a little bit on here And I can always look from this side. Yeah, I need some up top here. At least I can see through the mold to see if there's anything missing. That's one good thing. Okay, let me see. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to go on and cure this little spot of thin here. So it doesn't run away. Yeah, like I said, I'll probably end up doing these eyes again. I keep pressing on his head. I've done loosen the eyeballs. One's about to fall off now. I should have started with start with the eyes last. But I wasn't really sure if I was even gonna do this. Okay, that should be enough for that. I guess I'll go on and do this side and then just work myself to the other side. Ow. Ooh. Drips. Okay, now we just got to get this thin here. And I'm just lightly painting it on. Just want a little extra sparkle right in there on his fins. On all his little fins. It's going to be a sparkly angel fish. I swear this might be green glitter, but it has red in it as well. Little specks of red glitter as well, or orange, something. But that's fine. See if I've got all the spots there. Ok, 
Okay, do I have all the spots? Uh, wait a minute, I think I have a little bit up in here. It needs to be pushed up. Just a wee bit there. OCD and the fish glitter. Okay. Get your cured on there. Oh. oh. Mm. Okay, I think I missed a piece of tail right there too. Yep. I surely did. Right, where'd he go? Right, is it right at, no, I didn't, well, yeah, a little bit. You know what, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about it. not going to worry too much about it. Make sure I've got that in there. I only got one more side to go, then I'll mix up some resin and we're going to do the, oh, should we do the blue with green flippers? So I was also going to do some Picasso, I can't talk, Picasso alcohol ink in here. I was going to do a drop, one drop of blue green. Still think it needs a little bit more right there. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I can't really get it in there. For some reason, he don't want to cooperate. Okay, hopefully that'll work. And I don't know, it just looks like I don't have a lot on his fin there. His tail fin. But, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it up in there now. I think it'll be fine. He's going to have other sparkles in there. Okay, so... One more side, be very careful. Let's see. I don't want to miss to, to take have anything come loose on me. I'll trim it up later. Let me make just a tad bit more. Yeah, so I don't oop, have a lot left to do. I'm gonna do a wee bit more here, and this should be enough to um. Should be enough to um, finish his fins off. Yeah, should be enough to finish his fins off. Just be very careful picking him up because you don't want to dislodge any of the other resin, and it will come loose on the silicone molds. Alrighty, let's see here how we doing. See if I've got all the whole fin. Uh, a, okay, there's a little bit of negative space right here. Just a wee bit. Okay. Then we gotta do this one, and then I have to um have to go over his um eyeballs again. Why do I? It's kind of hard to see that one from this angle. I think I went too far in, but I'll double. Oh no, I didn't. That's how far it goes. Okay. That's how far it goes. A little too much right there. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to use the rest of this 
and put some more on his little tail feather there. Tail feather, his tail fin. I'm just going to finish using the rest of this and put it right in here. Get some on. Oh, I gotta be careful not to dislodge it. Let's go put some on this side. Kind of even it out. Just going to use it. There wasn't much in there anyway, so I will go on and use that up as much as I can. And I just put it in his little tail fin here. There we go. Okay. Go and get this cured up. Then we can pour our resin. Well, first I have to mix up the resin. Mm. I think I'm going to just use the circles today. I also pulled out a blue glitter. Maybe I should put just a tad of blue glitter in it with the circle. Because I really want to do a green fish. And the green is not really all green. It's, gr it's a holographic greens. Because you're picking up blues and all. Then I'm gonna have the blue green. I'm not gonna put much alcohol ink in it because I don't I want it to just be barely barely um noticeable if that makes sense. Okay, I, is that a bubble? I don't think it is, okay. Um eyeballs. Yeah, Mr. Eyes. Did that one stay? No, he did not. I tell you, I'm moving it around too much. So, when I do it to eyes, I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna use these because they have resin already stuck to them. I'm just going and redo this. Just put a little drop right there. Going to redo Mr. Eyeballs here. All right, this should be the last time I have to do y'all. Why did I do that? <laughs> I pushed through the hole too hard. He went floating through. Oh, there's a piece of glitter. Ugh. There's a piece of glitter stuck in his eyeball. Gotcha. Put a little bit more in there. Okay, let me see if I can get this off my... Oh, finger now. Gets in the hole, buddy. Apparently, the fish does not want to have eyeballs today. Oh, it still moved. Again. So, it, it goes sliding. I really want him in the... back I've mixed up my resin to pour I mixed up five ounces so let's just hope that's don't have to mix up anymore um, while I was doing that I just kept turning on the UV lamp making sure that I have it nice and cured on the inside so now oops I'm gonna I just I'm gonna start got the Picasso alcohol ink I've got the blue green and I'm gonna just go one drop at a time because and I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more than that but 
I don't have any more big popsicles. Oh, yeah, I do. Because I already know that's very light, yeah. But I really don't, I just want a, a hint of color. That's all I want is just a hint of color. And I'm not even worried about bubbles. Uh, oh. Okay, that's three drops all together now. Well, let me get a piece of paper towel here. Just so I can test them. Because I don't want it dark, if that makes sense. I just want a very light green. And it's a blue-green. Very, actually, pretty blue-green. And like I said, I have bubbles. I don't mind the bubbles because it's a fish. If it wasn't a fish, I would mind the bubbles. But I actually like the bubbles in the fish for some reason because he's underwater. And it would be like the bubbles floating beside him. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, I can't even see that. At uh, Well, Tad, you know what? I'm going to put... One, two, just what I'm going to put you. So all together, it's been six drops now. All together. It's been six drops added. And let's just see. I mean, it's a very light tint. Too, a little too light. I would like a tad of color here. And then I'm going to mix in this circular glitter. All right, let's see what we have now. Okay, yeah, see, much, much better. Barely, barely noticeable, actually. I'm gonna put one more drop, so that's seven. One more drop, and that's it. I'm not adding no more, because it's just a tinge of the blue-green. Oh, since it's blue-green, should we use the blue? Because we have green have green I mean the blue has green effects in it you know what I think I may go with the blue and then maybe the the next one that I do I can do the blue glittered fins and do the green you know what that's an idea and still use this so that was seven drops in this one okay we are gonna yeah, I think I'm going to do blue because ca it catches the green. And, yeah. Let's see if I can get this open without having... I do like the packages for these, though, because they just go back and they're kind of a harder plastic. So, to me, it's a little bit better than that flimsy plastic they be putting in here. Oh, yeah, I said that. Yeah, I think the blue was the best choice think it was a better choice. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to use. I may be having to go back and buy some more of this because I really do. I think it's cute. It's like little baby circles. I think it's really, really cute. Oh, dang it. I should have capped the alcohol ink. Now I done spilt it everywhere. Okay, let's see here. How many we have? I'm not trying to Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get something to float in there. But you know what? I think I'm going to put more than that in there. I don't think I'm going to put any glitter. Oh, should I put some blue glitter in there? It's kind of a chunky medium glitter. You know what? I think I might just put a very, very little. Okay. And I mean very little. Yeah. There we go. Just dab yeah because I don't want that to overpower my circles in the um because I want to see those circles okay yeah and it'll give it a little extra texture oh that's gorgeous love it I think I'm gonna put let me it's hard to tell through the glass I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the um circles in here I mean, I don't want it swimming in circles. I want it like floating. I want the circles floating around. 
hate it when all the circles get stuck to the cup and you can't get them off. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, see that's enough. I don't want it over thing. I want to be able to see through it if that makes sense. I want to be able to see through the fish. Okay, his eyes still on there good? Yes. Okay, and I use like a looks like a um, like an emerald green for his for his um, eyeball. I am going even though it doesn't look like it's flow. I mean, I'm sinking. I will be putting what? Oh, let me get the crust off. I will be putting a drop of glue in there okay there we go and I'm gonna just do one drop I'm really hoping I don't have to mix any more resin really hope not because this is actually a pretty you know what I think I am gonna have to I don't think this five ounces will hold that fish I haven't done him before but I really don't see this holding five ounces it looked like it might hold eight. But we're about to see. We are about to see right now. And I can't really squeeze these fins because I do not want to dislodge my um, UV resin. Get in there. I'm going to try to just maneuver it a little bit. I see a bubble. God, I can't really go down there to get that. But I see two. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try to gently. See, I can't really get it. It's at an angle. Oh, man. Okay, I think I'm moving him. I may have just dislodged the, let's see he is literally right there on that fin. I think I, oh well I'm going to do the best I can, that's all I can do. Alright, we're going to have to cut, if he has a little bubble it's alright, but I think I got him. I think I got him. I going to get this off of here. Oh, all the circles have attached to me. Get in there. Get in there. Wipe off my finger. I think this is going to be gorgeous. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to make some more resin. Alright, I'll be right back. i got to mix up some more resin. Okay, so I'm back. I ended up pouring, I know it's going to be too much resin. I ended up pouring another 5 ounces. I already have it mixed up with the glitter, the glue, and the the alcohol ink. So I'm just going to pour him in here. Ooh, maybe I should do it that way. I'm pretty sure it's not going to take 10 ounces. But then again, you never know. This cut, oh my word. This fish holds a lot. This was literally 10 ounces of resin. And <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. And it's still. I was, I was only going to make four and it's still not all the way full wow okay this booger holds up a lot it holds more than the snail did Oh lord, my gloves are sticky. Okay, I would say it holds, I'm going to call it 10 ounces. But maybe, I mean, if anything, make up 11 ounces. That way you can at least top it off. 
because it's not going to be domed. Okay. So I'm going to just write on my mold 11 ounces. Because I had my seahorse all ready to halfway fill up with this stuff. But now I can't. Okay. And like I said, it's not domed, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm not going to mix up a little bitty ounce. I have to put glue in that little bit. Yeah, it's just, yeah. So, if you buy this mold from Timu, I think Amazon may have it too. But it's probably double the amount. If you can wait, wait. But it's a nice mold, but it holds a lot. I'm going to be writing 11 ounces on this bad boy. Okay, I see an air bubble right there. I'm hoping I get him. And that's those little bubbles that I hate that show up right on the thing. I'm going to just brush them. Oops. A little bit. Let me check his... Everything else looks good. It was just a little bitty bubble right there. I don't want to hit. The, do not hit the eyeball. Do not want to dislodge anything. And I do have my heat mat set for two hours. Okie dokie. So yeah. Let me get this little bubble by his fin there. Another little bubble. Okay, and then go around this edge. I do not like those little micro bubbles. And let me get his lips too, because I can see it now. Little micro bubbles. Alright, so I'm going to just come back and keep checking this. Four bubbles at the top and spray it with alcohol. And let him cure. I need to refill. All right, when we come back, we will be demolding the beautiful blue-green angelfish. Okay, we are back. And it is time to demold the fish. And let's see how we did with the UV resin and the circle sparkles I've got some cleanup to do oh I, I will say after the last shot I did go back and mix up about two more ounces just to top it off because it was not it wasn't all the way full okay I'm not sure I guess we'll start with Mr. Head here yeah, that, that's the best way to do. Just start with his head. Oh, my word. And this is a heavy mold, which is really good. Mm. Well, let me see if I can peel him out of here. He's not the easiest to get out. Okay, there we go. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. Alrighty, come on, little fin. Oh, I knew I was going to have a big old bubble right there. I just felt it. I could not get in there for nothing. But I will fix him with some UV resin. Oh, my word. I, well, this is this has worked out really good. Trim up. Oh, let me. That worked out really, really good you can see through the fin even because that glitter was light anyway I didn't want it light so some of the things floated down in here the little circles but after I put the glue in they're all submerged right in there and I need to get this extra glue off of here what well, not I'm sorry not glue the um resin Ooh. that 
just a little bit of overflow but most of the time when you catch it you could just peel it off with your fingers and it wasn't a lot all right I've already broke one fingernail today I'm trying not to break another one okay I think I'll just get the little knife and fix him but oh my goodness yeah I don't see any bubbles anywhere else in him except for that thing that I could not get that little thing in there to get and I didn't want to squeeze it because I didn't want to separate that the painted on um the painted on UV resin I did not want to I did not want to remove that his eyes are raised I like the little eyeballs hopefully you can see those good he is beautiful the only thing I have to do is fix his little fin right there what did we use we use resin and thing I'm gonna go on and try to fix him literally right now because I'm just using UV resin I'm gonna go on and try to fix him up right this minute use the same glitter we had I'm not gonna put too much in here and I'm gonna attempt to fix him versus this little fin right now and I think I will do it in a I wonder if I could put you in there just to hold you okay hold on gotta find something heavy to put by you so you don't fall over there we go now he's got a base he can sit on while I fill up this little hole here and see I'm just trying to fill it the best I can okay wait a minute and get you over in here somewhat okay now I'm gonna oops Put this UV light on here to just to cure this real quick. Just to get him and then I can build it up because it's, it's not that much of a chunk. Well, it is a good little bubble chunk there. But I couldn't squeeze it. Now if I could have squeezed it, it would have been no bubble there. But since I couldn't squeeze it, I risked dislodging the the um, UV that we painted on, the UV glitter that we painted on. I risked the chance of, of dislodging that. And I did not want to take that chance. Alright, buddy. But boy, he is gorgeous. And let me tell you, he is a thick piece. And he's be he's a beautiful fish. There's nothing gonna blow him over. Like if you sit him on a porch or something, he's gonna sit there. He's not going nowhere. He's not going anywhere. If you sit him like on a deck or something, he he's he's heavy. I mean, it takes 11 ounces of resin, and that's with the added stuff that we put in it. But I can imagine, oh, seashell one would be so pretty. I think I need just a tad bit more Ooh. on top there. I'm just trying not to go over the regular fit. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit darker because it's not, you know, it's, it's going to have a, a spot on his fin, basically. Oh, glitter everywhere. He's going to have a little spot on his end. A green spot. He's going to be a green spot fish. I'm going to try to scrape a little bit more out of here. And then I am going to call it a day with this. I just want to get it a little bit more. Oh, right in here where it's a little bit rounded there. Yeah. want to get a, that little bit right there if I can get it off without making a mess ok 
Okay. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm going to get him cured up. Oh, yeah. That looks good. I like that you could use the UV resin to save things. It might not be perfect, but it looks good to me. He just has a little darker of a fin at the very, very bottom. But he looks cute. Like I said, if I hadn't painted that UV resin into his fins, I'd have been able to push that bubble. I saw that bubble. I just couldn't push it out. Make sure he is nice and cured. But see, much better. It's just a darker green right there. But it really turned out amazing. It really did. His little, little face, his eyes are adorable. I just got a little bit of trimming to do. Just a wee bit at the bottom. But yeah. Like I said, I did have to make up some more just to finish it at the bottom a little bit. That's why it overspilled. But yeah, he is gorgeous. I hope you liked it. I sure did. And we will be making more fish with different ideas. Because I like this fish mold. Alright, until the next episode tomorrow, I will see you then. Have a blessed day. Bye.